Hi Pisces, my what a sign Pisces, what is up, what is good with y'all, welcome back if you are a subscriber and welcome to the channel, welcome to Brooklyn Nights 1111, if these readings resonate with you, your partner, or anybody around you, or if you could just relate to the situation or the story, make sure you guys like, please like because it helps other Pisces to get the message. Please like, share, subscribe, turn your post notice on. Make sure your notifications are on. If you are subscribed, go to your notifications. Make sure they're on all and not just on, okay? Because if it don't show up on your screen, if your post notification is not on, it's not going to count. It's not going to show up on your screen. So make sure your post notifications is on. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. We're going to get into some channel messages. At the bottom of the deck, you have lonely. What's going on? Having no one, wanting companionship, isolated, isolated, loner, outcast. Okay, we are in Mercury retrograde in Aquarius from January 14th to February 3rd. So it's going to mess up a lot of communication. A lot of readers are going to feel like they can't speak. They may be stuttering. There may be uh, misunderstandings back and forth. People going to be breaking up. People going to be making up. People from the past going to be coming back. Okay, why does that happen during Mercury retrograde? Look. Don't know. That's Mercury Retrograde. You're feeling lonely. You're feeling like an outcast. Okay? You're feeling isolated. You may be a loner. You may feel like you are better off alone. But you're wanting companionship. You want love. You want somebody to love. I'm hearing Babyface. Who's playing Babyface? Someone to love. Someone to trust, someone to hold, and you're feeling very lonely right now, okay? Let's get some more messages for you guys. Someone to know you. you. All right, Pisces. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold up. That just flew out on the floor. Like, flew. Okay, wait a minute. What's this? Aw, homewrecker. Breaking up a family, a happy family, having affairs, doesn't respect no boundaries. Somebody here is a homewrecker, okay? They don't have no respect for boundaries. They don't create boundaries in their marriage or relationship. And it's breaking up a happy family, okay? Somebody may even be having an affair or a secret affair. Wow, what? Yeah, because it's like these two are holding hands behind her back. So she doesn't know that an affair is going on. Mm, somebody's having a secret affair. Who is this person? Who are these parties that are involved? Ooh, okay, it may be a fire sign that you're dealing with the Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. All right, this person may be a star, okay, in the public eye, having... Being popular, very successful, having a platform, being recognized, okay, and known. Somebody has a huge following on social media. It could be Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. It could be YouTube. Somebody has a platform. Somebody's a star, okay? You may be dealing with a fire sign. Who else? What other signs are involved here? Thank you, spirit. There's a lot of lust, okay? Someone is lusting, passionate, sexuality, okay? Physical attraction to you or someone else. Somebody's physically attracted to you. Somebody has lust. Or you're lusting over someone here. Could be this fire sign. Okay. Somebody is lit. Okay. Somebody is lit. Somebody may be turned up, partying, amazing, cool, exciting. Something or someone is popping off. Okay. So if you're dealing with a Capricorn. um, No. No, 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 no. There is air here in your spread, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There may be a birthday party happening or celebration. Somebody is lit, okay? Uh, and Mercury Retrograde is an Aquarius. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, happy birthday, Aquarius. If you're cross-watching cross for a Pisces. Suffering from toxic addictions, traits, mindsets, and behaviors. Somebody has bad habits. Somebody also likes that song by Maxwell, Bad Habits, okay? Somebody may be broke, all right? No money, can't pay bills, scrapping up change to get by, okay? Yeah, somebody has money issues. Wow. Yeah, because they're spending, they're overspending, burning money. Let's get into the tarot. We're already four minutes out, and I don't like that. It was too, too much, too much, too much. 
But, I, you know, y'all needed these messages, so I'm going to just go ahead. I feel like you may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. So you may be working on a relationship with someone. Okay, this person wants to make plans to meet up and partner up with you. Maybe work on a relationship or work on something together as a team. All right, but somebody may be juggling two different people, two different people. There may be a third party situation here. Somebody you work with or somebody you're trying to do business with. Maybe this is somebody you met at work. Okay, for those of you who are working, I feel like you may be juggling two different jobs, trying to find balance in your finances. Yeah, you're saving money, penny pension for a, a retirement, a home, a car. You're putting money away into a, a savings account. You're holding on to some money, your penny pension. But I feel like somebody is holding back and not opening up about juggling. Juggling. Okay? They may be keeping this to themselves, holding on to some sort of information. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Okay, Pisces? And I feel like somebody wants a second chance. Somebody wants a second chance here. We're going to see what this is all about. What's going on? Oh, no. So, somebody wants to make plans to meet up with you, to partner up with you, to work together as a team. Okay, work on the relationship, working together. And I feel like, you know, you want to move to a place of calmer waters after being in rough waters with this person. Okay, you want to move to a place of peace and calmer waters with this person. And I feel like you're either moving away from someone. You may be leaving someone behind for some of you. I see a lot of healing going on here. Okay. You may have had a verbal falling out with someone here. Okay. I feel like you're not speaking to someone right now. Somebody, somebody may have moved out or moved away from the connection. For some of you. This is very specific. Not all of you. But I feel like whoever wants to work with you, they want to they wanna move forward with you to a place of peace and calmer waters. Okay? Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Okay? But I feel like you're feeling stuck. This is you, Pisces. You're feeling like things are stagnant. You're feeling like your hands is tied, like there's nothing you can do right now. I feel like somebody is not taking action right now. Okay? I feel like you're making a sacrifice or you may be changing your perspective about something here. Okay. All right. Somebody's not seeing something clearly. And so there may be a change in perspective, but I feel like you are maybe not taking action right now because you may be feeling like you don't want this to be like it, like last time. It's like you want to move to a place of peace and calm waters with someone, but you don't want it to be like last time where the where somebody was leaving the relationship on hold, the things were stuck or stagnant in the relationship. There was no movement, okay? And so you might be thinking about that in hangman mode, but I feel like you're getting ready to make some sort of a sacrifice. Oh, this may be... Um, you may be married to someone. You may be divorcing someone. I feel like some of you or your partner has legal issues, right? You may have been feeling like you want justice. You know, you want justice. And I feel like um, maybe if somebody is, is calling for karmic justice, right? This may be about alimony, a divorce, child support. Somebody may be getting sued. But I feel like whatever this is, it's going to work in your favor. I feel like... If you're having legal issues, a decision has yet to be made about something, okay? They're still taking up stock and information for some of you, all right? But I feel like somebody does have legal issues. You may have felt like in the past or the recent past, somebody was being unfair or unjust to you. And I feel like now you want to make things right. You're wanting to do right by somebody, okay? I feel like you're wanting to give somebody justice, okay? But I do see that balance being brought back into your life. Excuse me, you guys. Oh, excuse me. I had a lot of water. I'm so sorry, okay? But I feel like you may be torn in between two. It may be two different people because there's two queens on this board. I'm going to show you. There's a queen of cups and there's a queen of wands. This may be the same person, but there is two women here. So for divine masculine, you may be torn between two women. Divine feminine, this may be same sex or, you know, just somebody's torn between two. Take your head resonate. All right. But I feel like 
you weren't seeing something clearly. You may have been blinded to some sort of a truth. All right. This person may have blocked you from social media. Somebody blocked you. All right. There may be a lack of information going on here or some blocked communication. But I feel like this is a tough decision that you're needing to make. You may be indecisive as to what to do here. You may be indecisive. Okay. I see that this is the queen we're talking about. One of the queens. Okay. This person may be a single parent. This person is very intuitive. Psychic. Okay. This person is sweet, kind, nurturing, loving, giving. This person has a lot of love. They care about you or you care about them. But I feel like you're in search of your emotions right now. Okay. Your emotions may be... You may put a lid on your emotions right now where, you know, you're not sure how to feel about a situation right now. And for others of you, you know, this person was open, open and emotionally available to you or you them. Right? Somebody is emotionally available. Okay? But right now, I feel like somebody's in search of their emotions. They may be torn in between two and they're in search of their emotions. They may not know how to feel about a situation. Now, this may be the same person with the Queen of Wands. All right? You see somebody is very sexy. You're very drawn to somebody here. Leo Aries Sag. Okay? This person is very attractive. Okay? This person is being protected. All right? You have a lot of passion for this person. But I feel like this may be the parent of your child. This may be your baby's mother or somebody you have children with. And I see you wanting to take action towards somebody, a Leo, Aries, or Sag. Let's get into this spread. Why is the justice here? Maybe dealing with a Libra for some of y'all. Why is justice here? Okay. Yeah. Wow. So you want things to be fair, balanced, and equal between you and someone. Maybe dealing with a Libra. Okay, I feel like you still have hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, and work things out. This may be somebody you're married to. Okay, this may have been a, a wish. You made a wish about this person. You've been wishing and hoping that you guys can heal things, mend things, and work things out. Okay, if this is a divorce, okay, I see that you're healing from this. If this is a, a, a legal suit, or like some type of a, a, a legal action or like legal matters. I'm seeing that you have hope and faith that things will heal and mend things. Okay. It's going to go in your favor. Your wishes are going to come true though. Some wish you made is going to come true. Okay. You may be dealing with a star, an Aquarius or somebody that is in the spotlight. Somebody that has a huge following. Somebody that's a star or celebrity or has a celebrity status. This person is very beautiful and very attractive. This may be a Leo. Some things is being revealed to you, okay? There may, there may be things that's being illuminated to you that this person is your wish fulfillment in the cups, all right? You may be very, very happy with this person. It's somebody that makes you very happy, okay? And I, I feel like this is a wish fulfillment. Whatever you've been wishing for is coming true for you, all right? Yeah, look, a new start, a new beginning with someone here. Wow. Let's see. The two of swords is here, but you're very indecisive about something. What is this two of swords? Oh my gosh. You're indecisive about something. Somebody may be codependent. It may be finances. All right. Somebody's codependent on somebody, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You may be dealing with one of these people. Somebody's codependent on you, or you're codependent on someone. I feel like there's a choice between two. And you're codependent. You may be not wanting to. You may not want somebody to be single. You may not want to be single here. Okay. But I feel like somebody is codependent. In the relationship or the connection. And it may be finances. Hmm. Somebody doesn't want to be single. Somebody doesn't want you to be single. You don't want somebody to be single. But. Mm, oh. You don't really know. You're indecisive, torn between two because there's some finances here. Somebody's codependent on somebody for financial reasons. 
It may be the parent of your child, right? But somebody is intuitive, right? <laughs> there may be some confusion, but I feel like this you be keeping this a secret. You've been hiding this from this person, or you're keeping some of the secret. Maybe you're hiding this Queen of Cups from somebody. All right, but you're all up in your feelings. You may be hiding your emotions about how you feel about this situation. Huh. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Clarify the Queen of Cups. Somebody's a single parent. Yeah, somebody's a single parent right here. This is the parent of your child that you're dealing with. Somebody you have children by. Your child's mother. Yeah. Oh, wow. What was this? Something else split. Huh. Oh, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Somebody may be getting mental treatment. Like they may be in a mental hospital getting treatment. This is very specific. All right. I feel like that's the truth. Okay, the truth may have come out. Somebody may have found out about something. Or this is some communication coming in. Honest, truthful communication. I feel like you want success and victory with someone. That's the truth. Spirit is clarifying that's the truth. I feel like somebody knows the truth about you. They feel that they know the truth about you. This air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So somebody's operating in this air element right now. Okay, they feel like they know the truth about you or you know the truth about something. There is some communication coming in. And it's going to bring a lot of clarity. Now, this five of wands is what sideways. I don't read cards in sideways. So I feel like there's been a lot of conflict, fuss and fighting and arguing. Maybe some drama over this situation. And I feel like you just want to, you don't want to fight with this person. You don't want to argue with this person. Okay, you don't want the drama. But I feel like. There may be a lot of people involved, right? There may be a lot of tension between you and somebody else, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like there is a lot of conflict. Somebody feels like there's competition or they, you know, you put them in some sort of a competition. There's a lot of drama right here. All right, look, with the parent of your child, this may be somebody you have children with. Aries, Leo, Sag. Somebody's very sexy, fiery, feisty, bold. Somebody is attractive. You're, it's somebody You find somebody very attractive. You have a lot of passion for somebody. All right? This person may have a platform. Remember we were talking about the star? This person may have a platform or a YouTube channel. Okay? Somebody may have a huge following. But I feel like you want to move forward with this person successfully and victoriously. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But some of you may be locked up in prison or feeling like you're in a mental imprisonment of your thoughts here okay you feel stuck in a position you don't want to be in trapped okay there may be a lack of information or some block communication i feel like you've been thinking about somebody a lot or a situation a lot why is the five of wands here for pisces oh now look <laughs> clarify the five of wands for pisces spirit show pisces what they need to see for this next 48 hours in love, 48 hours from now. Why is the five of one? Okay, something flipped. Hey, 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 hey. I'm hearing guy. I like the things you do to me. I like it brings out ecstasy. I like somebody's listening to that. I like that's my shit. That's my guy. Okay. And the thing is, somebody's very conflicted. I feel like somebody's mad because they have to self-pleasure themselves. It's like somebody, uh, hmm. you may be entertaining other people online, but when it comes to this person, you feel like they're your wish fulfillment. You may be looking at like photos of them and like self-pleasuring yourself. Yeah, like touching yourself. I don't know. Wow, okay, but you feel like your wishes are going to come true with this person. There may have been like a lot of drama because somebody may have been overdoing it, doing too much. They may have been selfish, stubborn, but whatever you're wishing for, your wishes are going to be coming true. But I feel like 
You are not sure about what to do. You're like, should I, shouldn't I? I don't really know. And you're going back and forth. You may be going back and forth between two people. You may be spying on someone or someone is spying on you. Keeping a close eye on you. Making sure you don't go nowhere. Okay, because somebody's juggling. But they're making sure that you don't go nowhere. Or you making sure this person doesn't go anywhere. You're really spying on them heavy. Heavy. All right, you're spying on them heavy. You feel you're going to get karma for something? Oh, you feel like you're going to get karma if you cut somebody out of your life or have a divorce? What? Okay. You're trying to figure out. You're balancing. You're going back and forth. You're trying to figure out if you should divorce somebody and cut somebody out of your life. Okay. Why is the nine of cups here, though? What's the outcome? What's the outcome? What's the outcome? What's going to happen? What's going to happen in the future with Pisces and whoever the... Oh, that's too many. That is too many. Okay. I'm going to just take them anyway. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Oh. Somebody's married. Somebody's in a high level of commitment. Somebody's in a committed relationship. Somebody's married. This may be you. You may be married to someone. You feel a spiritual connection with somebody. You may be asking friends or family for advice about this situation. Because I feel like you've been doing some introspection. You're in a dark place or somebody's in a dark place. You may be dealing with a Virgo. You may be asking about a Virgo. Getting some advice about a marriage. Okay, that you're in with a Virgo. But I feel like you may be doing some soul searching or some introspection here. Trying to figure out the, you know, what part you played in a relationship. You're reflecting. You may be in hermit mode, cooped up in a room all day, detached. You may have been alone and by yourself for some time or feeling alone. But I feel like you're being guided to something. All right? You're being guided here. Your spirit guides are guiding you because there is a light at the end of the tunnel with the hermit. But I feel like you are in love with somebody. You love somebody like you are in love with them, but you're having a spiritual awakening that you have a child with somebody here. You have a child. Okay, cancer. You, uh, ooh, you may be dealing with a cancer. Pisces. You may be dealing with a cancer, Scorpio, or a fellow Pisces like yourself. You love somebody. You really do love somebody. You have feelings for somebody here. But you're feeling like you may have to reject them. You may have to reject this person. Their offer, you may be having to reject them. Somebody feels rejected by you. They feel like you're going to reject their offer or reject them. This is a missed opportunity in love. This is a missed opportunity. Somebody's missing an opportunity. You're rejecting them. They're rejecting you. Somebody's being rejected. Why? Because it was destined. It was destined. I feel like your spirit guides, your angels, and your ancestors has brought this in. This was divine timing. I feel like some unexpected turn of events has happened. Wow. Somebody may be receiving karma. It could be a good karma. It could be bad karma. It, I don't know. Somebody is, after they're being rejected here, somebody is... Somebody's looking fortune is changing. Somebody's coming into a large lump sum of money. But somebody here is dealing with a karmic. And I feel like this was destined. You may have felt like this was destined for you and another person to be together. But there was an unexpected turn of events that has happened. Something has changed. There was a change, okay, dealing with a new start or some sort of a new start. I don't know, y'all. Wow. Okay, so the moral of the story, somebody's thinking about somebody else. There's two women here. Somebody needs to make a choice between two, but there's somebody that's codependent on somebody for financial reasons. The truth is coming out about the situation is causing conflict, drama. Because someone feels you're their wish fulfillment or the other way. But somebody's married in a higher level of commitment. 
and it's putting somebody in a dark place where they feel like they need to ghost you. All right. They're not answering the phone call. They're not responding. They're not texting because they're having a spiritual awakening. And even though they love you, they have to reject you. Or if this is you. This is your energy here now. Okay. It's a whole lot of Pisces energy here. Okay. So this might be you doing this to somebody. It could be a Taurus, a Leo, an Aquarius or Scorpio. You may be rejecting in one of these suits because something's changed. Something has changed with a new start here. Something has changed involving a new start, making things more stable, more solid, and more committed. Somebody's going to miss the opportunity. You're Somebody, wow. You're going to reject somebody, Pisces. This is the future outcome. Because you're married, you're in a high level of commitment, you've been reflecting, and I feel like you're still in love with this Virgo or whoever you're dealing with. And you're ghosting somebody who you're in love with. It's like you pull away from somebody that you're in love with. You detach from somebody you're in love with. You may not be liking where you are. You may name you. Ugh. You may not be liking the situation that you and this person is in. It's something you're not feeling. You're not feeling something. You're not feeling something. You're not feeling somebody. You're not feeling it. I'm feeling it. Feeling it. Feeling that you know what Feel the heart that you get from the law. I'm feeling it. If you're feeling, raise your hell in the sky. Somebody about to take a loss. Ooh, raise your hell in the sky. Somebody about to take a loss. Wow, I'm feeling it. Somebody's going to be feeling it, okay? They're not going to like this. There's something that's going to happen. There's a change. Somebody's changing their mind. You're changing your mind about somebody? What's the messages? The channel messages. I'm waiting for an apology. Somebody, somebody feels like you've been unjust and unfair. Because there's something that this person is wishing for to come true. They have a hope and faith. But somebody's not seeing things clearly because they're codependent on somebody who they have kids with. I really don't know you. They feel like they don't know you no more. I've been struggling. Somebody's been struggling to get over this. Oh, shit, Pisces. I want to tell you so much. Yeah, somebody's about to get ghosted. But they forgive you, though. They do. They forgive you. Ouch. I'm so sorry, Pisces. I'm so sorry. Somebody, I feel like you're getting ready to reject somebody. If you're the ones that's married, you get ready to do this. If this other person is married, they're getting ready to do this. Somebody's married. Yeah, deception. Look at that. Somebody's not being honest. Somebody is lying to themselves. Somebody's lying to somebody here. Somebody is wearing a false self mask in the relationship. Somebody is deceiving somebody. Somebody's manipulating somebody. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Somebody's not being honest about... Their intentions. Somebody's not being honest. And you know what? This person who's psychic, they know the truth. Okay? They know it. They know it. Calling in your soulmate. Your visualizations. Prayers and affirmations help bring you together. Look, wedding, this situation involves marriage. You're married. Somebody's married already. I feel like you don't want to leave your spouse. You don't want to leave your spouse. Your marriage... Uh huh. Oh wow. Damn. Healing family issues. Some of y'all need to forgive your parents. All right. But some there's a lot of healing that needs to go on here. Okay. This person was the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. You may have children by somebody here who you feel is the one. You may be healing family issues. There may have been a lot of fussing and fighting and arguing with somebody you in a connect in a commitment with, in a marriage with. That's it, you guys. That's it for your reading. Wow. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel. I'm so sorry, Pisces. This is wow. Okay. 
Uh, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you like this reading, if it resonates with you, your partner, anybody around you, or if you could just relate to this shit. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, turn your post notice on. I love you guys so much and there's nothing you can do about it. And if you want to book a personal reading, if you're looking for some information about that, my link is in the description down below, okay? Underneath the video. I love y'all so much. Until next time, bye Pisces. I'll see you in the next reading.